Hey y'all, what's up? Well, a little while ago I got done watching this Doctor Who New Year's special. And I tried making a video about it without giving any spoils away. And I just couldn't do it because when you talk about this, you have to say stuff that happens, you know, and I couldn't say anything because I didn't want to spoil it for anybody, but then I say stuff and it comes out and it's like, oh crap, I just, so I tried doing it over and, I, and over and I couldn't do it without mentioning it, so you know what, there are spoils, okay, if you don't, if you haven't watched it yet, don't watch this, okay, just turn it off, go watch it and then come back to it, okay, so I am going to start out with stuff that I did not like at all I mean at all it just it drove me nuts you know when you let's say <clears throat> you walk into your room okay and you say hey everybody this guy is blue and then you open the window and show everybody look the sky is blue after you just explained it yeah they do that about three times. They'd say something, and they give, like, a flashback, or the next scene would be of them showing you what they just explained. It's like, do you really need a double explanation for everything? And they did it, like, two or three times. It just it was annoying, you know? I wish I could remember one part I did, but it's just, do not do that. I'm pretty sure we got it the first time. Okay? The second thing I did not... But it wasn't... I didn't like it. It was just a little annoying, okay? Is they have too many people in a scene, okay? <clears throat> it's like they have three companions. Then they have the man and the woman. The white girl and the black chick. Or I don't think he... He might be black. Or he might be Indian. I don't know. And so they had those two in it, right? And then... What came along, spoils here, is a black dude's dad. I can't remember the companion's name. It's that black dude companion. His dad comes in the picture, all right? So, first half of the show, you have three companions. The second middle of the show, you have these two join the party. And then you have your father join. So, you have, like, what? It's like four, five, seven, six, seven people, you know? And it's, it's just way too much people to have to focus on at one time. Yes, the white chick isn't in it most of the time because it comes more spoilers, okay? Because a dialect is just one through the whole thing. But this dialect is a badass. <laughs> I mean, it's really, really, to me, it was really a badass. But then, okay, so it fought in the 9th century, something like that, okay? So it fought in the 9th century, and this this army defeats it. It cuts it off in three sections and then buries it three parts of the world or whatever, you know? It's like, okay. Oh, you'll see this in the show. And then one guy didn't make it to his location and gets shot with an arrow and then falls to the ground and dies. And But the thieves... Taking his stuff, but didn't take the package too. Like, if it's sitting there, wouldn't you have taken the package too? I think I would have taken the package, even though it probably would have killed me later. But still, somehow, in the middle of the road, and he's laid in the middle of the road this whole time, and then somehow got buried? He must have been laying there for weeks and weeks and months, and then years probably just laying there, you know? And then no one comes by and does anything? No one buries him or anything? That seems just kind of stupid to me. I did not make sense now. I was thinking, I was like, that doesn't make any sense at all. I was like, why would he be laying in the same spot for so long? You know, it looked like a road to me. So if someone came along, they'd probably move him. Or some generous people come by and bury him. Because there's a dead guy sitting, laying in the middle of the road. Oh. And luckily, the whole scarf thing. 
I don't think she wore the scarf very long, luckily. I think she wore it in... I don't think she wore it in the sewers. But there's one scene of Taurus, I think she was wearing it. And I'm just like, I just wanted to reach my hand through the screen and go, No, you're not getting that. Mm, that's not yours. No. Mm -mm. But luckily, she didn't wear it through the hole. So, lucky. Oh, man. The Companions, it started off kind of slow. Because you're sitting there going, come on. Come on, bring it in, hurry up, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Come on, just finish this part and get to the story. Get to the point. What is the point, you know? It's like you're sitting there, and some of the show was with uh, the white dude. I wish I knew these people's names. Uh, yes, I think it's like, her name's the only one I know. But the white dude, and he's talking to the black dude's dad. I don't know these people's names. <laughs> but he's talking to his dad, and it's like, and that was going on for maybe like five or six minutes. We're just sitting there going, hurry up. Hurry up. I don't care about the companions, really. Get to the story. Even though it's a side story of things that are happening with the companions, but I don't really care. So, the two scientists, or I could, I could, people dig people up, I guess, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but the, the man and woman in the middle, between the doctor and the, the white dude, they find the body, find the bag with the creature in it, and they put on some light, and some ultraviolet light brings the dialect back to life, or regenerates it, or whatever the hell. And then, I don't know how to put this, this is the weird part, okay? It's out of the machine. It shows it, which is really cool. But then, you knew, as soon as they went to look for it, oh, this is one part I do remember. The part where I told you where they, they say something, and then they re-explain the same thing, in case you didn't catch it the first time. So, one woman says, well, there's, there's a trail leading to the water, and someone else says, well, it probably went into the water. Or something like that. I was just irritated by the whole thing. It's like they do this like two or three times. Re explain something they just said. As cool as I thought the Dalek was, and you'll see this in the show, it attaches itself to the white chick and controls her. And yeah, that was that was it was it was different and was it was kind of cool at the same time, but then it's like they explain, and then it has these powers where it can affect the TARDIS and electric stuff, and and then she explains why it has these certain abilities because it's a scout. It's like one of the first dialects to come out and find Earth. And it's been in the ground since the ninth century. It's like. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> so, it has control of her. It goes to find the armory in the UK of where archives are at, where it might have some of the dialect old parts in there. So it finds some, and then it finds a warehouse where it can rebuild itself. So you have the dialect attached to the woman who's building it, rebuilding itself, you know? And that is, that is kind of cool, watching that build in a, a shell for itself, you know? I, I actually like that part. It was it was different, so that was cool. I, I actually watch, like watching that, but then it's like, you you look you you're picturing the dialect in your head of the way they look they look right. I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looks like because it is. It looks really cool. Okay, it and it and it made this you know, but then you're thinking. Okay. 
where did it get the little ball thing he's at, you know? At the bottom? Where did, where did they find these at, you know? Where? <laughs> and how did it know how many it's supposed to have? Where did it get these? And she actually says, it's rebuilding itself from memory. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you this. It is a cool dialect, and I actually like it, you know? I love the way it looks. And, uh, during this part right here, I think it took out the whole army. It, it Through the whole show, I tried to count how many people it took out. And I'm figuring around 30 people. Yeah. I'm figuring around 30 people it killed. Because, you see the little balls at the bottom? Those actually go in to the bottom part. And he put missiles in there. Missiles. A dialect can shoot missiles. And no show ever. I don't remember. You guys remember ever seeing a dialect be able to shoot missiles out the bottom part? Which is cool. I, I, <laughs> I mean, to me, I, I really liked it. The dialect part of it. But. Yeah, I don't know. It just, it just, it just, <coughs> it's just weird, you know. It was just really weird. I'm glad they didn't go with the whole human-looking thing come out of the floor. I'm really happy they didn't do that. But this is, to me, this is much better the way they did this. But the whole dialect being able to control a human thing that. Would it happen and maybe be like, oh shit, that's my old shit moment. Didn't come from the doctor, didn't come from the companions, it came from the dialect people to do this. It's like, oh my. Yeah, they're going to have problems now. And another part where she uses the TARDIS to communicate with the dialect through VR, hologram kind of thing. It's like, And then the doctor got pissy. And then she got pissy on later on. It's like, this is the way the doctor should have been from day one. Okay? Because I started liking her slightly when she got pissy. You know? And then she gets all pissy. And then she I was giving her points. And I was like, yeah, okay. And then she lost them all. Okay? Because this is what I think, if I can quote this right. She says, this is your final, final, final warning. It's like, how many final, final warnings are you going to give this person? The, the, the dialect, you know? How? And then she turns around and says, I gave him his final warning, didn't I? I did, didn't I? I gave him my final warning. It's like she does so good. And then she turns around and just cocked it all up. Over and over. The companions were fine. The dialect was awesome. The story was fine. <clears throat> it's just the doctor, it just you want to like her, kind of, and then she just turns around and just, I don't know if it's the writing, I don't know if it's her, I really don't, I think it is the writing that they write for her, and it is her, so both of those combined, it's just, it just makes for a crappy ass doctor, I'm serious, it's like, for like, I see a mate, you said like her, and then she turns around, You just want to take this and go. And it. Because she actually had me, and then she. Oh. Why 
does someone have to screw something up so bad? You know, just when she probably had you, and it's like, wait, okay, it's 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 not it's not going that bad. But then turn around and piss all over it. Yeah, I the end of it. I'll just make it quick. I don't like the end of it either because I thought. Okay, because it took like six of them to beat her, okay? The, to beat the, the dialect, okay? And the way they did that, it's like because of the dad was an engineer, he engineered some out of, a, out of an oven that he was carrying around, and he stuck it to the dialect and it overheated it and melted it all to hell, which was kind of cool. But. She does like a 10-foot slide going from the TARDIS all the way back behind the, the, the dialect. And then she comes up and says something like, well, that was my best slide ever. Like she's like 10 years old or something. And watching her just say that, and, and you're just like, you just keep blowing it and you keep blowing it, you know? Don't know how to keep your mouth shut. And they figured they destroyed it. And the dialect got out somehow. I don't know how he got out. But he got out somehow. He ends up on the back of the father. And so now he's controlling the father. It's like, well, if you don't take me to my army, I'm going to kill this person. And, uh. I think. With this dialect, I think you pretty much got to shoot the person in the head and the dialect just to like, smush the crap out of them, you know? Because, no, this is like, no. It's like, okay, okay, you win. There's six of us and one of you, and you have one human who you're controlling, and yeah, it might be his dad, but we're going to help you anyway. Because we don't want that one person to die. And they fight some, and they get to where they want to go to, and then she opens the door, and it's not where she wanted to go, and the gravity starts sucking him out with the dialect, and he's holding on to the door and trying to, oh, I don't know, the dialect trying to be sucked out the door, and it's sucking him out too, and it's like, he's getting weaker, and the dialect's getting weaker, and somehow, but you figure, this is what should happen, okay? The dad's just, because like, the black dude's like, Dad, I love you and all this crap. And what should have happened would have made it so emotional that you would have said, oh, man, that was good. It's like you knew what was going to happen. But the dad should have let go and just flew back into the sun with a dad on his back. But no. I think the son grabbed the dad's hand and somehow the dad flew off his back by gravity pulled on him or some shit. So they perfectly ruined that emotional moment that, yeah, I know they want his dad to die, but they, they want something to grab people and make them feel sorry for a character and that could have done it. It's like, oh, man, that sucked. But, you know. Yeah, it's 18 minutes of things I didn't like. <laughs> I think. Stuff I did like. The dialect was cool. And did I mention she didn't do her bowling with this with the screwdriver thing? <laughs> no, she just leaned over and scanned. That's all she did. Thank you. I was watching for that. Ah. Oh. Other than that, what I recommend to everybody else, yeah, watch it, get it out of the way, you know, just just watch it, and then make a video complaining how bad it was if you want, but I liked it, but I didn't like all of it, I mean, I think my mind blocked her out of the whole, <laughs> most of the show. I don't remember in it most of the time. <laughs>
my mind was was focusing on her doing the whole bowling thing with the screwdriver. Other than that, I think my brain blocked her out. Pretty sure, you know, I just ignored her. I don't know. It's just, there were a lot of things that were messed up in it. I mean, there were a few things that were good, but every time we thought something was good, they'd come along and just screw it. It's like, you enjoying yourself? Good. Let's just. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. I'm going to stop it here. There's probably things I'm forgetting, but I'm just. The more I think about it, the more I can tear it apart. Yeah. All right. I appreciate you guys watching it. And thanks a lot. And um, I don't know if I do any more reviews or not. I don't know. Probably. But, uh, okay. Oh, y'all take care.